Yesterday I shared a space um, with my students on our energy medicine practitioner training program to start to go into our inner systems. So the space is designed to support the students whilst they're on their journey of becoming an energy medicine practitioner to start to really get in touch with their inner system, with their emotional system, with their parts, with their body. And for us, this is really important. This is part of the way that we're helping this movement. We're part of this movement of paradigm shifting, holistic education that is so needed today. You know, so many of these modalities, uh, energy medicine modalities, um, psycho-spiritual modalities, sound healings, uh, they're, they're very intimate modalities. You know, we're really getting intimate with people's energy systems and with their emotional systems. And it's important for us to have the space on this program to be able to really support our students in their own personal journey as they are learning new skills and they're practicing with others to really start to get familiar with their own system because really it's only through this that we um, can take our clients on a journey it's through the depths that we've been through ourselves it's through having that embodied experience that we can then guide others and take them to those depths too and one of the things that really just stood out for me that struck me that i was just in awe of in this cohort is the willingness that they have, that the students have to just be there, to be present and to start doing this inner work and to start to get really honest about those parts of them that are active when they're doing therapy, when they're coaching their clients, when they're preparing for their sessions. Because when we get really intimate with those parts of us that are getting um, activated or triggered or feel tender, that's when we're really getting into a deeper place of holding a space for ourselves so that we can tend to what is really needed within us in order to be fully present for our clients and to be clearer vessels for our clients to come and to be able to drop into our sense of presence and to be able to, to be sensitive to the parts of us that might be coming up, that might be holding an agenda, that might be wanting to lead clients somewhere, that might be even wound, like triggered by, by what's coming up for the clients and then taking us away from being able to hold that clear space that might be taking us into a space of wanting to help them in the way that we thought we needed to be helped, to wanting to fix where we couldn't fix ourselves. It's so important to get clarity on this as a practitioner and it is our honor to guide our students and this willingness that I am, that I'm seeing reflected back from the students is really awesome and it really has helped me to contemplate today that you know that's the first fundamental step is developing that willingness to really go there and see what's there because it's not easy. Sometimes it can be really discomforting. It can be uncomfortable to see what's in the deepest depths of our own being. You know, what's really driving our desire to create these spaces and to do this healing work, you know, and what's required to shift out of wanting to be a healer and heal somebody and into being a channel or being a facilitator of, of somebody, of their own process of getting back into their state of deep healing. So I wanted to share this because often it can be difficult to know where to start. And this is a beautiful place to start, is to start with that with a willingness, with a desire, you know, because if that desire isn't there, if that willing, if it feels like, oh, this is difficult, this is, then that's where we start. We start by cultivating through the solar plexus, we start by cultivating that willpower to show up and do this work, to reach out and find a therapist, to find a supervisor that's going to guide us and go on this journey. 
so if that's where you're at, if you this resonates with you and you want to come on this journey, we always, I, I always have, I always have practitioner specific opportunities because this is what I'm really passionate about. This is all of my focus is into practitioners and supporting you all to be able to, to be clearer vessels of light. So I have a cos, cosmic breath, breath, cosmic breath work journey next Wednesday, a two hour journey, which is going to be a beautiful journey into our system to really work with the energies. Cause you know, it's very intense out there at the moment that the energy of the collective, the energy from from the, the the astrology, it's really discombobulating for us. So it's really important to continue to teach ourselves how to work with those energies and draw those energies in and, and draw in the support of our guides as well. So so we'll very much be, be journeying. So that's a really beautiful bite-sized way of just like coming in and getting some TLC and doing some like in the moment necessary work. And then we have a two-day incredible, incredible journey a training uh, module from our energy medicine course, um, and it's called uh, Beyond Trauma Informed and IFS Informed Training. So this is about how we become trauma aware. It's about how we guide our clients being aware of the journey that they may be with their trauma, or with the stories that are the burdens that are within their own system, and how do we confidently guide them within our own capacities. That's what I'm going to be sharing, the fundamental skills and if what I've shared with you resonated today about doing your own work and being there for yourself then this this training course is just absolutely essential for these times is there's there's nothing um stopping us let's just go in and 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 do that inner work so I really hope you can join us it's going to be a, a phenomenal two days and I invite you to come and be with us lots of love dear ones